Hey guys, it's me, Percy. So, um, today I'm going to teach you a fun trick. So this is once again a tips and tricks like uh, tutorial just to help you guys with your future art projects or your future masterpieces. This is a trick I didn't learn until I was a sophomore in college and at the time I was a declared double major. I was an art major and I was a theater production major. I took a drawing one class of course and um, so this was <laughs> I can honestly say this is probably the only thing I took away from that class that I didn't know I'm not trying to sound full of myself or anything like that but he was just he was a young teacher and he was crazy he was he was crazy okay anyways so this is the only thing that this art teacher ever taught me but today I'm going to share it with you since I have used it many times in the past. Okay, this is the only time in the world that I actually truly love tracing paper. This is the only reason I use tracing paper and another reason why I use tracing paper is because I cover up my drawings to protect them when I send them off to people. Let's say you have an art project and you drew out this beautiful masterpiece. Tiki, so funny. He's such a beautiful masterpiece. Anyways, let's say you don't want it on this piece of paper. Let's say you want it on a nicer piece of paper. For example, Bristol board. Let's say you want this off this computer piece of paper, this computer paper, paper. <laughs> you don't want it on this one and you want it on something that let's say could take Copic markers. So Bristol board that I know has been totally like durable with Copic markers or Prismacolor markers and or any kind of markers. It's just a nice paper and it can totally take mixed media and I absolutely love it. And but let's say let let's say you want this onto this. Alright. There is this stuff called transfer paper and this is a way to get out of using actual transfer paper and buying it because from my experience transfer paper is pretty darn expensive. So I'm going to teach you the cheaper trick. So if you have these already, um, I don't, this is just a regular like pack of like very lead pencils if you're taking drawing class or you haven't had some of these yet they're on sale for Michaels I don't really prefer this brand but hey it's what I have now you can either take a regular lead pencil which might be a little bit hard on tracing paper or you can take a 6b lead pencil which means it's a softer lead and it's going to be darker what you're gonna do is you're going to color the entire page with lead. Now that I have completely covered this whole entire piece of tracing paper with graphite, um, you see, you saw how I was coloring it. It didn't matter what direction I was going in, just as long as it's got a good graphite surface. So it's extremely, extremely dirty. Anyways, so let's say you have your masterpiece and you want to transfer it onto once again this Bristol board, or maybe watercolor, or maybe um, I haven't really tried it on an acrylic canvas, but I'm pretty sure it could work. So I rip out. Dang. <laughs> I rip out my piece of Bristol board. <laughs> you might want to wash your hands after you're done doing this. Okay, then I take my drawing. I take my transfer paper, put it upside down, graphite down on the paper, like that. Take my drawing, then that's when I'm going to simply trace over it and it'll transfer onto my Bristol board. Make sure, once again, hold it down nice and firm. Hold it in place, don't let it slip around. Press down hard 
don't use a mechanical pencil because the lead will be keep breaking and you should just use a regular number two pencil. Doesn't have to be these fancy pencils. Once again, you're just transferring it over. And make sure that when you're putting your drawing down that it's on top of the place that you have covered in graphite because if it's on a white, just a blank place, it's not gonna transfer over. Make sure you get every part and a good way to check is just make sure your lines are hard or it's not going to transfer over because you didn't go over it. Now I pick it up and there is Tadashi, a nice cleaner version and then of course it's just a good outline so you can see a couple spots where I missed and didn't transfer over but now I have a much cleaner version compared to this I don't have all these sketchy marks and everything and as you can see the transfer paper didn't leave that much like marks from the actual graphite and everything. The reason why I use this technique so much is sometimes when I draw realistic portraits of like dogs or god forbid I actually do people. <laughs> I actually draw them out on a regular piece of paper first, like this piece of computer paper, and then I use this transferring technique, okay? And the great thing about this is you can keep using the same piece of paper of tracing paper covered in graphite. You don't have to keep doing a new one and new one. You just go over it again with a new, like, layer of graphite with your pencil. A fun tip and trick, just in case you want to give like something that's beautiful <laughs> instead of completely marked up and everything. You can see it's a good outline and I can start like lining it with my with my lining pen and everything and you can get all these supplies from Michaels or Hobby Lobby or anything like that. Ah, there you go guys. This is one of the best tricks I can ever offer, offer to you guys because I have used it several times. Um, my piece of graphite paper is still at home so maybe I can show it to you guys someday because literally you can see the outline of face after face on the same piece of paper I've been using. But yeah, hope you guys have a wonderful week and I hope you enjoyed this. Bye!